Dear Grade 2 students, This is the chapter about mental math. And in this lesson, we will be continuing our lesson about rounding numbers. We already know from the previous lesson that rounding numbers means I'm taking my number to the nearest easy number, which is a number that ends with zero, either a 10 or a 100. In today's lesson, we will be focusing on rounding three-digit numbers to the nearest 10. Look at this question. Round 423 to the nearest 10. Now, here's my number 423. I am going to label each digit with its place. The 4 is in the hundreds, the 2 is in the tens, and the 3 is in the ones. Now, I need to circle the 10. Please do not circle the hundreds, as I am rounding to the nearest 10, not 100. It's very important to circle the place that I am rounding to, not the biggest place that I have. So now I need to circle the 2 and underline what is after it, which is the 3. Now, let's check 423 on the number line. It falls between 420 and 430. Let's see where it is on the number line. It is nearer to 420 than 430. So if I want to round 423 to the nearest 10, 423 is nearer to 420 than 430, so the answer is 420. Round 251 to the nearest 10. Here's 251. Remember the steps. Step 1, circle the digit in the 10th place, which is the 5. Step number 2, underline the digit after it, which is the 1. Step number three, decide if the underlying digit is strong or weak. Again, look at the table. The digit, which is one, is a weak number. Now, step number four is to decide which way to go. Now, since one is a weak number, I am going to stay in the same 10, which is 50. So the answer is going to be 250. Notice that the hundreds did not change. Now check the number line. You will find that 251 is nearer to 250 than 260. Here's another example, round 638 to the nearest 10. Here's 638. Step one, circle the tens. I'm going to circle the three. Step two, underline what's after it, which is eight. Now, eight is a strong number, so it means I am going to go to the bigger 10. So I am going to go to the 40. The answer is 640. Let's check on the number line. 638 is between 630 and 640, but it's closer to 640. Look carefully at this example. I am rounding 597. Step one, circle the 10, which is nine. Step two, underline what's after it, which is seven. Of course, 7 is a strong number, so it means I am going to go to the bigger 10. Notice that here, the next 10 is going to take me to 600. Since there are no more 10s, after 590 in the 500, I will need to move to the 600s. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time.